Yes, now YouTube, what is up? Welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today we have the ultimate team official deep dive. Let's crack into this. My favourite part is here. Is ultimate team so deep sure. dive with the FC IQ. Come on, what have we got in store IQ here? Tactical presets and player role boost, and loads more updates from community requests. Come on, Aslan, what have we got? Guy, Young Philly, the goat. Thanks, Philly. Ultimate team tunnel. Tunnel, let's fucking go. This is my favorite as well. This, year this is so nice. Shape, as well as building on familiar features, you've come tunnel. to Tunnel, our pack animation. Ultimate team is the pack animation looks nice. I'm not sure about the side bits. That you could have just stuck to the original, but it still works. Of 5v5 matches. 5v5 Rush obviously is Rush coming in. Is a brand new five -side experience. We that already know that it's a 5v5 experience. It's said about five others, fucking times. Team. Whether you're by yourself or with friends, matches are always played with four people and an AI goalkeeper on each team. Okay. Bring in a player from your club so and you'll control be the, them for the entire match. And together, the players you pick Options. will be team bonuses, earning team every bonus. one Rush point. So hold on, hold on. So you get match coins and Rush points. Interesting. A new way to get rewards in Ultimate Team each week. New Rush events will be released throughout the season that will allow you to use different players from your club and earn rewards. Interesting. It's so it's probably going to be something like, I think I, I want to say the rival season, um, but I'm not sure because it looked like it could be that. Whether or not it is is a different story, but. You know, you have certain certain things to do, like there, FC fives. Team up with your friends, take on the world, and tally up your rush points to totals uh, in ultimate team clubs. No requirements, but this one is silver rush, so I'd imagine you get more for silver rush rather than the FC fives. Interesting. You get better rewards for the harder it is, I'd imagine. Perfect complement to the intensity of rivals and champs. Oh, a celebration is nice. FC IQ oh, is here we go. Overhauling tactic. My favorite part, the tactical side of this. It's an ultimate team, giving you more control over how your team behaves on and off the ball. Manager items will now feature tactical presets. Manager pro. Whoa, 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 whoa. Calm it down. Calm it down. Tactical strengths. Pass. Players rarely, rarely tire, threatening out wide, strong build-up play. Oh, so they take the manager's main Easier than ever to emulate your tactics. favorite manager's tactical setup based on their real-life style. Oh, of my God, that's sick. And with the addition of player roles, there's even more opportunity to customize your players, unlocking new levels of tactical depth and Don't strategy. Make a plus. Work nice. rates have been replaced by roles, and special items released throughout the year can have boosted roles in different positions. Ooh. In FC so a new, a new tab, roles, and that'll include you know the pluses and the plus plus. Ooh, interesting. So you get different team of the weeks with like a phone net cam with plus plus. Interesting. Twenty-five evos will be less restrictive, mm. allowing you to use your favorite players. I'm gonna pause it here. Upgraded Evos is a good shout. Um, better sort of options for the backgrounds, yes, but more restric less restrictions on it if you if I hold it. If I hold so on a minute. Evos being green. So different this backgrounds year, obviously backgrounds, is always nice. Orders, sound, effects, and sound effects, like I've said, players. fucking useless. And we heard your feedback. Doesn't need it. We're excited to find you don't need it. A storage system for Duplicate storage. They finally listened to us. Thank fuck. We're also removing contracts. Players and removing and contracts. Will no longer need it's contracts nice, but it doesn't really help. Well, it does help, We've but, made improvements you know, to rivals as well. As it present comes. Weekly rewards will now be based rivals on have gone back to points so with even if you draw, relegation. I think I've heard that. And relegation is back. Yes. Decreasing the total number of checkpoints relegation. Allowing players to be relegated. So maybe, maybe we might get, you know, the odd free win because someone doesn't want to go up to a high enough division. So there's pros and cons towards it, but at least... But at least it would be better, you know. Um, kind of, kind of gives you that, uh, you know, that fucking ah. Oh, just want you to make to play the game at the minute. Divisions. 
Of six. My friend will no longer use your rival's rank for matchmaking, and instead use form, ensuring that players will always want to compete at their skill level. So, so friendlies are now different. Stadium new stadium. Paired with new broadcast elements oh, that reflect your squad that choices. Stadium is and nice. The most dangerous players on the pitch. We're excited about all these updates between Rush, Rush. SCIQ, Cosmetic Evos, and some long-awaited community updates. Ultimate Team is on in FC25. We'll see you on the pitch. New camera oh, angles for the will. POVs. This sounds unbelievable. Can't wait to get Cole started. Palmer celebration. Back nice. To the world's game. What will you do for the club? So what are my overall thoughts on this? Rush now than ever looks more it looks so good now that I'm thinking about it. It looks to be the game mode that I didn't think it was to be. The way the FC IQ works is pretty fucking good, you know. I can actually emulate some tactics from someone like a Pep or a Ten Hag or a Klopp or a Xavi, you know, someone like a good manager like Ten Hag. <clears throat> um, I didn't say. The tunnel is just a fucking W. I love this. I don't know what's going to be the telltale signs, but it should be nice. Uh, again, Rush, I'm so happy for. At the minute, it looks nice. Uh, evolutions, yeah, you c it makes them sort of less requirements and stuff, but that's up. And that's because we didn't really have many Evos in total. Um, I think we had quite a few, but you know, sound effects completely useless to it. I don't really care about it. Duplicate storage is going to be a fucking huge W because it's in the squad builder challenge section. It's the SBC storage. You know, um, it's nice to have. So fucking nice. Rivals, I say, is a W. Relegation is now a thing, which I'm loving. And, um, you know, the point system back to old, old, old roots, but. The menu looks clean, I tell you that. If this is the menu, that looks clean. But just based off that, the weekly rewards would be on point system, so you can claim the weekly rewards and get the reward upgrade by playing more to get the wins. But you can also get the fact that people want to relegate themselves. So it's you know, you can get relegated, which makes it so much easier if you just don't want to be in a high division like I was, you know, two years ago, three years ago. You no, know, Div 1, Div 2, if I don't want to be in there, I'll just drop down six, Div 6, like, seems easy enough. Um, But I'm hoping EA put, like, a, you know, like, a sort of thing that detects people that just want to relegate themselves, because it does kind of get a bit jarring, and you just constantly get into the high divisions to then, because you're getting the wins. I know you people want to just get that there, then that's fine. You know, if you want to get to high divisions, get the rewards and then relegate yourself, that's fine. You know, um, but... I hope EA notice like sort of what they're doing and how they can sort of cap it or even just make changes frequently. Just to say, look, you're doing this every season, you know. Trying to he's going through the easy divisions to then win all the way down to the big divisions, and then by the time they get to the big division, they've relegated themselves and they've just got their rewards, and they're just going to keep doing that every every time. Um, so I'm kind of hoping that sort of changes, but if not, it's fine. Um, what else? The stadium, new stadium looks fucking sick. Yeah, looks class. I've just realised my audio's not been on this whole time, so that's going to be fucking annoying. Um, yeah, <laughs> don't worry, you'll, you'll, you'll hear the audio. I'll have to go over this again and, you know, just record the audio. Fuck's sake, man. Um, but yeah, you, you're hearing the audio, but. But yeah, thank you for watching. If you guys have enjoyed this and do want to see more videos like this, please leave a like. Um, it does mean the world. And uh, yeah, I am out. Take care. Peace.